This is Advanced Algebra Lesson 6-3, the Graph Translation Theorem. Before we begin looking at the notes, I'd like to look at a series of graphs and what happens to them based on the equation. They're all going to be congruent to the equation y equals x squared, but we're going to be moving them around a little bit. So if you look at the green parabola in this caption, you'll notice that the equation is x minus 4 squared. And if you look closer, the vertex of this is at 4, 0. If you go to the blue, it has an equation of x plus 2 squared, or y equals x plus 2 squared, and its vertex is at negative 2, 0. So all three parabolas are congruent to each other, but they've just been they're just in different locations, and so we say that they have been translated. In this case, the green was translated over 4, and the blue was translated over a negative 2. In this series, all three parabolas, once again, are congruent to each other, and they're still going off of the, the function of f of x equals x squared. The green one has been translated down 5 units, and so in the equation happens to be x squared minus 5. The blue one has been translated up three units in a vertical direction, and that equation is x squared plus three. The third series I'd like to look at is still keeping in the line in line with y or f of x equals x squared. The green now has the equation y equals x minus three, different squared plus two, and notice the vertex of that parabola is three two. And then the blue one has the equation x plus 4 quantity squared minus 1. And that has a vertex of negative 4, negative 1. So what we're going to, if you notice, this green one has been translated over 3 and up 2. And the blue one has been translated over to the left and 4 and down 1. So we're going to look at how the equation in, in uh, parabola, the, how the equation can help us determine where the location of our parabola will be on a graph. When we look at the graph translation theorem, it says, in a relation described by the sentence in x and y, the following two processes yield the same graph, replacing x with x minus h and y with y minus k. And then we can apply the translation h, or the translation of t, sub h k to the graph of the original relation. So we're going to see what that looks like when we look at the graph of y equals the absolute value of x under the translation of 3, negative 5. As studied before, we know that the graph of the absolute value of x starts at the origin and has a slope of 1 going in the, our, so our positive direction, and then we, it also has a slope of negative 1 going off into quadrant 2 here. So if we take and look at a translation of 3, negative 5, so that's over 3 and down 5, that's where our vertex would be. And we know it's still each side of our graph has the same slope of 1 or negative 1. So here's an example of us using the graph translation theorem. Now specifically, we're going to look at the parabola translation theorem for the rest of this lesson. The image of, a para of the parabola with the equation y equals ax squared under the translation of t sub hk is the parabola with the equation y minus k equals a times the difference of x minus h squared or y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So when we look at these graphs, we're going to look at three things in particular. We're going to look at its vertex, its axis of symmetry, and its minimum and maximum value. And we're going to see how they relate to the translation of hk. Let's take a look at this first graph of y equals ax squared. When you look at that, it has a vertex of 0, 0. It has an axis of symmetry, which means you could fold it on top of each other itself. And, it has, and that's the y-axis, which is the equation y equals x. And when the value of a is positive, that means that our parabola is going to open upward, and it's going to have the vertex point is then going to be a minimum value. Now let's take a look at the relationship of a graph that has been translated by hk. 
notice this one was translated to the right and down and its minimum value or its well let's start with its vertex first its vertex is HK its axis of symmetry is a vertical line going through H which means its, its axis of symmetry would be X equals H and then if we take a look at the minimum value because it's opening up just like the other one we have the minimum value is the same as the vertex point so the minimum value and the vertex have the same coordinate or coordinates the equation for this parabola that's been translate, translated takes on the form of y minus k equals a times x minus h squared so when I look at a graph like this I can determine its vertex point which would be h and k let's look at this example and how it relates to the the parabola translation theorem the question is what are the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola with equation y plus four equals three times the difference of x minus 2 squared. We're going to need to write an equation for the axis of symmetry of the parabola and then we're going to need to graph the parabola by hand. Before we even begin this, let's take a look at what our value for a is. We know that our value for a is 3. So this parabola is going to be a translation of the equation of the parabola y equals 3 x squared. We also look at it, this is in our form, so this is our h value, and this is our k value, but note it's y plus 4, so that means in order to do that, that would mean if we were to, it needs to be in the form of y minus, so that would be y minus a negative 4. So that means the vertex of our parabola is going to be 2, negative 4. So we know that we could go to 2, negative 4, and that's where our vertex is going to go. We also know that we have an axis of symmetry, and as we said before, the axis of symmetry goes through our vertex and is a vertical line, and we know our vertical line is at 2, so our axis of symmetry would be x equals so we've answered two parts of this. The next thing we need to do is graph the parabola by hand. Now we can do it a couple of ways. Since we know these two parabolas, y equals 3x squared and then the y plus 4 equals 3 times the difference of x minus 2 squared, we can graph that y equals 3x squared because that's pretty easy to graph and pretty quick to graph and then we can translate it over 2 and down 4. So I'm going to show you quick what that would look like. I just plugged in a couple points for x, 1 and negative 1, and I found y to be 3, and 2, negative 2, and found y to be 12. So if, I, if you notice here, I have a dotted line. And if I was going to translate that, I'm going to take a couple points over 2, down 4, and I know my vertex is going to be there. Let's move these over 2, down 4 and I know this is going to be right on the other side so here's where that parabola is going to go so that's one method the other method is to use our equation knowing that our vertex is 2 negative 4 I can go ahead and plug in a couple values for x and y I'm just going to use 0 for one of them and so I have 0 8 so I know that I've got the vertex at 2, 4, and another point that I have is at 0, 8. So 2, 4, 6, 8. I know this is where it would be, and I know that this line of symmetry right here would bring my other point over onto this side. And so as you know, if you notice, I have my parabola right there just as I had done it before when I translate it. So those are two methods that you can use graphing the original in its simplest form 3x squared and translating it or taking the translated one 
and plugging in a point and using the axis of symmetry to find the other point besides the vertex. The last piece of this lesson I'd like to talk about is being able to identify an equation for a parabola given its graph. So if you look here, we were given the original graph before it had been translated, it was y equals one-third x squared. So we know that our value for a is one-third. So a equals one-third. And we know that from looking at the graph that the value for hk is negative three, one. That's the vertex of our parabola, it's also our minimum value, just to review a little bit, and we know that our axis of symmetry is this vertical line here going through negative three, so x equals a negative three, just a little bit of a review. But now we can take that vertex point and plug it into our formula, which is y minus our value for k, which was one, equals our value for a, one third, times x minus our value for h, which is y or x minus a negative three squared, and you know that we don't leave it in that form, so y minus one equals one third times x plus three squared. Now you also can leave it as y equals one third times x plus three squared, and bring that one over to this side as well. Those are two fine answers. This concludes the lesson 6-3.